GSK 2857916, also known as Belantamab Mafodotin, and I'll call it Bella for short, is an investigational antibody drug conjugate that targets BCMA. We presented a first in human phase 1 clinical trial for patients with relapse in refractory multiple myeloma. The initial results have already been presented and for such a heavily pretreated population we demonstrated an overall response rate for monotherapy of 60%. The prog progression free survival at this time was 7.9 months. What we're showing now is the extended follow up. With the extended follow-up, the response rate maintains at 60%, but the majority of patients are achieving very deep responses, that is VGPR and CR. But the progression-free survival now increases up to 12 months, which I think for a very heavily pretreated population and a monotherapy is very active. What we also see is this side effect profile. The most common side effects is thrombocytopenia, and corneal toxicity. And the corneal toxicity occurs in about 50 to 60% of patients and is manifested by blurring of vision and photophobia. We also present some of the biomarker data, including PK and PD analysis. We looked at BCMA expression on the surface of the plasma cells, and we noted that there was no difference in response rate according to BCMA expression. So clearly this drug is very potent and also is able to work in low BCMA levels. And also the soluble BCMA levels had no impact on response rate. The second piece that we presented was the patient-related outcomes. And in this cohort, patients uh, did a survey looking at their bone health and fatigue scores during treatment with this antibody. And they also took part in an interview at the end of the study and a subsequent follow-up uh, study. Now, unfortunately, the take-up was quite small of this. So we have a very small cohort. But nevertheless, it provides a little bit of insight as this was just a first in human clinical trial. What we find is that patients reported an improvement in fatigue and bone pain. Although I must underline that the patients that re responded to the surveys were those that typically responded. So this may be a bias group. Also in the qualitative data set in the interviews, patients reported how they felt whilst they were on study. Now most of the comments related to the corneal toxicity and they did comment about the blurring of vision and the impact that it had on their lifestyle. It impacted on their reading ability, it had some impact on their ability to drive and use computers. But they reported this to be fairly mild and they also reported when they looked back after completing the treatment that they felt that it was acceptable for them. And overall they expressed a high level of satisfaction in the trial, no doubt because they had a very good response rate to that. So this is all quite preliminary data in terms of patient-related outcomes. The phase two clinical trial has completed enrolment and has more detailed patient-related outcomes and that will be reported later at ASH this year.